Okay, so we are back in the shop. So what I have to show you today is some of the iterations of this um, product that we made. Um, okay, so original one, a little bit long. This is the second one without this piece modified, which we did previously. Um, this one printed out really good. This one printed out pretty crappy because um, it was looks like it was over extruding. Um, I started, I fixed it in this area, but it wasn't quite perfect. This is like a solid print, but PLA, PLA plastic. This one was just a failed one. I figured out what was going on with some issues at the top here. I think this may have actually been the original one. Yeah, this is the original one. It was just a failed print. So I do believe I could actually use this one. It's just not pretty. Um, but the difference between PLA and ABS is temperature. So this is a pretty much a, a print that could be used, but you'd have to fix this bottom side. So you see this rounding is, um, it's because the ABS wasn't sticking well to the bed and eventually it just let go. This is the final print. What I did was, you'll see some stuff here. We're gonna fix that up in a second, but I wanna test fit it first. This one's not printed beautifully, but it printed out pretty good. Um, the only thing I would say that didn't come out great is the finish. The rest of it's actually not so bad. Um, everything else looks pretty good. Um, but I just have to clean up this edge and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we're just going to test fit this real quick. Um, I still don't have the, uh, the filter. It's supposed to come today. So if it comes before this, I'm done with this video, I will, uh, show you what it looks like. So, I don't know if I can get you in here for a better look, but we are going to try. Alright, so you can see it fits on here. And that's fit. So that's a good start. But like I said, we're going to clean up that edge in a minute. I actually have what I'm going to do with it already cooking up. So, just make sure your bolts, bolts, nuts, nuts fit, and they do, so this design is okay. You may want to use a slightly smaller wrench when you're tightening this down. I'm probably going to have to use a crescent wrench, but that's fine. Actually, the issue is not that. I need to use a deep socket, I think. That's the issue. But the gist of it, there you go. The filter goes right here. I almost think you'd want to have this curved, but so be it. It's going to work for what we want. And on the go-kart, which is the Predator engine, um, we will have enough room. So let's just take these nuts back off, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to clean this up. It's an interesting way. So the reason you'd want to go with ABS, just throwing that out there right now, is... Sure. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Um, it doesn't melt for a certain uh, much higher temperature. So for ABS, uh, I believe you're looking at 240 degrees or so. Um, so this is how I'm going to clean up that edge. Uh, 450 to 440 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. Um, PLA is much lower. Um, all right, so ignore the big mess. The theory behind this is I've heated this up with some propane. Uh, we're gonna actually turn this down a little bit. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna just try to clean up this edge by putting it on here. So you see how much better that came out already. There's no more real marks. So all we're doing is flattening it and cleaning it up. And yeah, it's gonna stink. But all I really wanted to do was just make this a completely flat surface. And like I said, it's gonna smell. Just like printing. Okay, so there we go. Now we got a completely flat surface. All we gotta do is let this cool off, cut out the little edges that are hanging, and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna turn off my propane uh, heater of sorts. But you need just a flat surface to make this completely flat. So that's all I did there. 
heat it up, and then we're just going to cut off the bad stuff. So you can do it while it's a little warm. Let me get. I'm going to just get a razor blade. Actually, there's one here. Might as well just use this old one. This one I don't think was used very much. But all I'm doing here is cutting off this extra material that we just melted. Ta-da. It's going to be hard to see because I don't want to cut myself, too. But just cut off those pieces that you just melted. And anything that's hanging, because you don't want that to get sucked into the intake. I'm sure somebody will complain about that, but you know. Don't cut your fingers. Stuff on the outside is up to you if you want to take it off or not. I am not much of a perfectionist for stuff like that. So I'm just going to lightly grease it. And what comes off comes off. What doesn't, doesn't. Clean all this up. And yeah, so just so you know, ABS plastic smells like melting tires. Took off a little bit too much right there, but it's not going to hurt anything. Anyway, now I just got to do the bolt holes, which might be easier to do with a drill or something. But we're going to see what we can do here. So, I just have an Allen wrench. I was looking for something flat. So I can pry up on the pieces I cut, and then you just pop them out of the way. Might not be the prettiest thing, but it'll work fine. You can just pry up on it, and it comes out. I would recommend cutting it first because it gives you just a neater, neater finishing product. I accidentally took out a little too much there, but not a spot that matters. Anyway, that's basically the final product. You can heat these edges if you want to get rid of that white. Um, whatever color you print this in. If you want to make that look just smooth, you could just take a lighter and run it along that edge and it'll clean it up, make it look nicer. But that's really the gist of it. So, for now, I'm going to put this on this motor. And we're going to see. The design is actually pretty good. Um, the only thing you need to realize for yourself is you're going to need some sort of gasket on there. That's the first thing. Um, I got the gasket from before on there. And it's not exactly the easiest thing to tighten down these bolts on your own. So you can use a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench, whatever you can get in here. It would be nicer if this edge was flat completely. So I may do that in another design but that's the, really the gist of it and the only other thing is I was looking this up because I was like what you're supposed to do with this um, you're supposed to put a little air filter on there really um, I think I, I mean it's just a breather you probably could just cap it off too I may do that just for the time being so it doesn't get uh, too crazy but um, like you say it's just a breather so, we'll see. I'm not sure. I think I'll just cap it off for the time being and then come back and put a breather back on it. So, I guess what we'll do, we'll just cap it off. I'll just put a clamp on it for now. Yeah, that's the gist of it. So once the filter comes, the filter's just going to go right on the end here. And we're going to clamp it down. 
will be that. So for the moment, so that this thing get nothing gets in here, I'm just gonna clamp this guy off. I'll either get a filter for this, or I think somebody said to put a. That's what it was. They said put a, um, a gas filter on it. I'm going to have them sit here somewhere. Not good. What the hell did I do with it? Well, that was what they said. They said put a gas filter right on here because they're cheap. And then it'll just filter the air as it comes in. So, so whatever you want to do for that. I'm just going to leave it closed for the moment. These are like the world's cheapest clamps on the planet, so they're not very good. So for now, you know, I'm going to off just for my testing purposes. Yeah, so we just got this guy clamped off for the time being. I'm going to put an air filter on there. And we're going to tighten this guy down. And uh, for this, because it's not doing anything. Put a screw in here for now so nothing comes in here. Okay, so here's the final product. Um, as you can see, it works totally fine. The outside diameter on the actual print is thir uh, 40 millimeters, and the uh, moped air filter, which only costs five bucks, is. Uh, it's 39 millimeters, so it fits perfectly on there because it's rubber. Um, so yeah, you can see I just have the uh, air, the gas line plugged off here because I'm testing it on the Subaru engine. Worked fine. Um, I'll show you in a second. It'll be running, and uh, I'll just go over a couple things here. Um, so let's see. Uh, thing to note is uh, you need to manually change the uh, the choke on the carburetor. Um, just like you would before but you take off that little piece so that little black thing right behind the screw that comes up is the choke so it's just you turn it opposite direction of what you used to because the uh the little handle that was there uh inverted what it does so uh something to note i'm sure it's exactly the same on the predator engine um i'll probably do a follow-up once i put this on the predator engine and uh just let you know how it goes so yeah here it is we're going to do a test run so you can see it um yeah, I just hooked it up, put it on there, choked it, pulled it, and it started right up. Um, you can see there, I just, uh, I'm just showing you where the, uh, the gas line goes on the Predator engine. Um, like I said, I just have it closed off because this engine doesn't have that gas line. Um, and make sure you close off your breather valve. I would recommend uh, putting a filter on there. Like I said earlier, um, a gas filter is perfect for that. So that's about it for today. Um, uh, there'll be more on this shortly um, if I make any improvements or anything. Um, the link should be below once I get it uploaded uh, to download this file. I'm probably going to just throw it on Thingiverse. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.